in Swedish. Hello, welcome to this week's Swedish Startup Sessions and today we talk with European crowdfunding startup funded by me.com. Stay tuned. This is Sweden. You ain't packing gas, you ain't hard, you ain't living in the garage. This is Sweden. Fly overseas, claim you to achieve. Please believe this ain't Sweden. Witness a massacre in Middle East to Africa. Bet you be thanking God. This is Sweden. Stop lying to all, you ain't struggling at all. This is Sweden. You ain't packing gas, you ain't hard, you ain't living in the garage. This is Sweden. Fly overseas, claim you to achieve. Please believe. This ain't Sweden Witness a massacre In Middle East to Africa Bet you be thanking God This is the Swedish Startup Sessions uh, Hi, welcome back I'm here with Daniel Dabotsi of FundedByMe.com um, You're one of the most spoken about Swedish startups I would say Because you hook into this whole crowdfunding yeah. idea So I think we we'll start with what's What's funded by me, really? Well, funded by me is the first Scandinavian crowdfunding platform, and it started out of the frustration that a lot of entrepreneurs and creative people feel, the fact that they need to get money, mm -hmm. they need to get the buzz out, and they need to test the market. Uh, also, of course, we uh, have, have been looking at the American crowdfunding sites and the European and the other crowdfunding sites and said, wow, here's a market, it's an apparent need, let's build this really, really fast. So we spent 31 days of coding and uh, my, my colleague Arno, he was coding while I was crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. So we actually crowdfunded our own site, so we ate our own dog food. Yeah. Um, and it was really good because we learned, one, how to do it, but also what the, how tough it could, can be yeah. and how interesting it can be. So we, we just celebrated one year a couple of weeks ago and now we are growing really fast. A lot of people want to collaborate with us. and. Uh, we're making a bit of a, a bit of a buzz, a bit of a wave. Mm -hmm. And this whole crowdfunding scene is pretty new. Well, the thing is, the word is new and the yeah. method is new, but the, the method is, is it lies in, in our genes. We, we've been doing this for centuries. Yeah. We've always went together, we built stuff together, we created companies. We, th it's actually what makes us human to yeah. do stuff together. What happened during the last five years is that friends, family and fools, the ones who tended to invest in the company yeah. for, are not local people who you know anymore. Mm. They are tribes throughout the world in social media. Mm. Uh, a hamburger fanatic has hamburger fanatics investing. Yeah. Uh, if you do something which is really niche, like a computer game, then you find other, do other computer geeks or mm. nerds and passionate people who love that. So mm. we, the world became bigger yeah. and the methods are faster. That's the only difference. Yeah. Um, how did you come up with this idea? What's, what's your background? Uh, our background is, I'm from the art scene, mm -hmm. I'm a producer and a curator and we also run our web agency, so we have the tech skills and the cultural skills mm -hmm. and also a bit of network. And the thing is, is that we got frustrated, one, that we needed this kind of platform, mm -hmm. we didn't have, we had, it, had this. And then we had an idea which we went to Kickstarter with, we, we love Kickstarter, it's a huge platform and they said no to us. One, first, of course, because we're not American, we don't have the American bank account mm -hmm. and stuff, but also because they thought that our idea wasn't uh, uh, valuable for the American community. Uh -huh. And we said, wow, what's this? So we said, if, if, if they turn us down, probably there's a market. And we yeah. said, can we do this? Should we do this? And we said, yes, of course, we don't want to clone them, but we can be inspired by them. They got inspired by others, mm -hmm. and we created something for this market. Really fast, we realized that Sweden and the Nordics are a bit too small, we don't have 300 million people, but we have creative people and we have people with money. So we said, let's do this in a Scandinavian way. So we are coaching the projects a lot, we're spending a lot of time on the project, we try to mix them with certain organizations or ideas, how much we yeah. can. But we are also adding equity crowdfunding, we're also adding, adding more social interaction, even more uh, crowdsourcing. Etc. So we we trying to create our own model inspired by several different ones. Yeah, and this uh, because up till now it's just been been crowdfunding, but this equity crowdfunding yeah. is pretty new. Have you pretty, launched it yet? Yeah, it's just about to launch. We we, we plan to do a, a stealth beta launch at Almedona, which is which is a huge political yeah. event in the summer, just as a statement and then opening a fall. Equity is the fact. That, let, let's say like this: crowdfunding works like this. 
I have an idea, and mm -hmm. if you back me now, I might give you a product or a service later on, mm -hmm. or a hug or a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. While equity is that you give part of your company or part of your profits mm -hmm. back. It's a bit more tricky, it's a bit more serious, mm -hmm. it's of course bigger money, but you get more value. Mm -hmm. And I think like this, if you love a, a crowdfunding campaign so much that you are willing to invest in an idea, yeah. why not also mm -hmm. invest in that company if they need you? Mm -hmm. So that's what we see. I, I, I would invest in a lot. It, yeah, it's interesting because I looked at the projects at fun, uh, funded yeah. by me and most, especially the, the, the very emotional yeah. um, projects, it was one kid who yeah. needed, it was really ill, yeah. he yeah. got, I think he got the largest amount. Yeah, exactly, he's 360% uh, or something, yeah. yeah. And uh, whereas a lot of startups that put up, they haven't really yeah. received anything. Exactly. We see we see the startups have the difficulty to give something back. They yeah. don't really have a physical product mm. yet. It's and, 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 and the market is a bit too new to mm -hmm. to to raise that kind of American money on yeah. based on idea. So that's exactly why yeah. we created the equity for the entrepreneurs, for the musicians, for the filmmakers, for instance. You know, filmmakers can also give away part of the company yeah potential profit yeah so so we see that we needed to do something more substantial mm. fun mommy runs already really good we, it's really well working but the market is not big enough mm. so we needed to increase the market somehow so we mm. can't add more people to it so but we, we can add another tool to it yeah. and that's what we are doing now and I think I think that will go really really, really well we see huge interest from young entrepreneurs young ideas Everybody in Sweden is talking about the uh, concept of, of, of innovation, which yeah. you need to add to. And we have so much good mm -hmm. stuff. The best thing, thing is, it's not that we have creative idea who need money. We actually have a huge amount of people who want to be part of a good mm -hmm. story and want to put money in it. And that's what we are going to tap mm -hmm. into. Uh, in the US, uh, they just uh, passed a new law yeah. around uh, crowdfunding yeah. uh, because just that, like in, in the EU you had um, legislation that you couldn't have more than uh, you couldn't go out and talk about your, your uh, yeah. funding needs unless you had more yeah. than 200 uh, shareholders already. Yeah. Yeah. So how are you going around? Because we well, in Sweden we have, and, the, and the EU we have exactly more or less the same yeah, rules. It's, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit. We have a bit more different rules in, in Sweden mm. than in America. A bit, a bit stricter in one way and a bit yeah, leaner in yeah. another way. So what we are going to do is basically we're going to create a system where you present your project, your idea, and concept, but the entire process is done properly, legally, and close because mm. you don't want when when it, when it's certain information which is, is which is sensible you don't want to everybody to no. see it and you want to control your information so we're going to do a, an open part and a closed part and then the actual signing of papers is going to be done by a proper agency on the side like yeah. a lawyer or auditor yes. uh, we're going to also use the swedish company strive for digital yeah. signatures which authenticates the entire system and also stores the paper mm -hmm. so everything is is taken like exactly how the system works right now, but simpler, smarter, and online, yeah. and global. Yeah. So, there are methods. I think what hasn't happened yet is that nobody had the crowd yet. Yeah. And we got the crowd first in, 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 in the hard way, mm -hmm. and now we're going to add a better system to it. Mm -hmm. And also, I, I was on the, on the board of a small uh, Swedish startup a couple of years back who, who had worked with different um, stock communities to, yeah. to raise money and I, they had an enormous amount of, of shareholders but it was very a very closed system yeah. all of it yeah uh, and you have to really where, know where to go and, and um, I don't know it, it felt very yeah. very hard work and you got quite little money out of it yeah well we hope to, you know our, our entire motto is keeping it simple mm. you know and so we're going to try to keep that as simple as possible and I think Yes, one, one of the issues is how do you handle 200 small shareholders yeah. and we are solving that. It's not actually not a big thing because there are methods for mm. that already. For instance, all the shareholders are non-voters, for mm. instance, and you can easily buy them out, etc. Or uh, we could have a proxy, like a person who symbolizes all these people as yeah. one shareholders and uh, takes care of their interests, maybe sits in the board. There are methods, mm. there are thousand and one methods. What we are trying to do is to do the first thing, you know, somebody taking the first step, and then we can learn. You know, yeah. we, we are also doing the customer development me method. We could spend two years and do this in stealth and launch, yeah. uh, or we go out instantly, 
we adapt, we put a beta stamp on mm -hmm. it, we adapt, we listen, and we do something yeah. which actually works from day one. Yeah. Uh, so, what's your business model? What, what does Funded by Me actually well, get your revenue we, from? We have, we have three ways of yeah. getting money. One is uh, we take 6% of the money raised. Mm -hmm. uh, if you reach a minimum mm -hmm. goal. If not, the money goes back. Nobody and that's no matter if it's proper crowdfunding or no, equity funding. Yeah, we're going to see you get the 6%. Yeah. Um, the second is that we have a bit of add-ons in the background, a bit of Google model, that the service is perfect, but some people need extra features. Yeah. Better statistics, SMS payments, etc. etc. Mm -hmm. So we, we give them to them at, at minimum cost. And the third is, which is, is, is key, but is also long-term, is that we see that government agencies, incubators, mm. business centre, need our knowledge, need our technology, yeah. need me and my friends and my, my networks. Mm -hmm. So we, we try to package that for them. Mm. Um, and that's where the maybe the bigger money is in the long run, yeah. but it's also the hard money because it's a lot of work for that. Mm. So we have a bit of a business-to-consumer segment and a business-to-business yeah. segment. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, because I know that, that um, one of the really hard parts for a lot of government agencies and incubators is the selection part yeah, yeah. Uh, and the monitoring part. Yeah. Are, you, are you think you can... can uh, well, of can course, in, in a way we are selecting and monitoring, but yeah. also, of course, the crowd is the best yeah. quality stamp because um, sometimes, this is the hard truth, sometimes entrepreneurs need to go viral from mm -hmm. day one because they have a brilliant idea, mm -hmm. but sometimes they don't. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they need to be stopped and say, you are too early, mm. you are not clear enough, you are not good enough, you yeah. should bring a marketer in, or you should do something else. And I think that crowdfunding is the best method, method mm. to test it because you can instantly go to the crowd, get the feedback, adapt, or, or go mm. viral. So I think it's a really good method to authenticate mm. a, a, a system. Is it a good idea or not? Well, when it comes to the equity funding, yeah. um, don't you think that it might be that it, you know, concepts, consumer, um, related projects and, and startups that are quite easy to grasp will be able to get more funding than say if I have some really technical uh, innovation that for, for the average consumer might be quite hard I think, to, uh, to I think at the beginning our first product will mm. be easy to grasp, mm. but I understand this, I can almost touch this, yeah. it's massive or in my interest, but I think in the future there'll be more money and bigger money because when people understand the system, mm -hmm. they trust the system and they can use it differently. We've seen that in the regular crowdfunding. At the yeah. beginning it was small sums, friends and family, 80-90%. Now we see companies going in, we mm -hmm. see the money go up. Mm -hmm. We see it's, it's, it's the first month when we were around Funded by Me, it was a hard work to convince people to spend 100 crowns on a Visa card. Now, yeah. now we see thousands coming in all the time yeah. because it's not hard anymore. Because mm -hmm. Already it's this much people tested the system. Yeah. So I think, yes, at the beginning it's going to be understandable companies. But then in the long run, you know, it could work either for the obscure, biotech, strange something, yeah. nano yeah. things. Because you actually invest in the idea, yeah. in the entrepreneur, in the story. Yeah. And then, perhaps, as you say, you need to be able to market that, even yeah. if, it, if, say, nanobots will help of course. diabetes, exactly. I can and market on the diabetes solution. Exactly, and everything has to be explained to, to, to the common yeah. man. Like, take, take for instance the, the relativity theory, mm. it's like one of the hardest theories in the world, but it has been explained to the common person, that's yeah. what everybody knows about it. So that applies into everything, mm. film, art, uh, nanobots, you need to take the hard stuff mm. and put it into a, a one-page pitch. Because if you reach the big market, then, then, then you go, go viral and global. Stephen Hawkins actually once, once said that a mediocre scientist can't explain things, only brilliant scientists, exactly. scientists, yeah. scientists can explain things very easily yeah. for everybody to understand. Well, I think we see, we see three stuff as, which is a success story in front of mine. One is uh, the, the story how well you pitch it. Mm. Two is how generous you are with, with your connection to your back. It's like, it, this works with VCs or angels or crowdfunding. Mm. If you're generous, people tend to join you. If you say, I want one million for 0.0001 shares, mm. it's harder to get people mm. on board. And the third is, of course, how dedicated mm. are you? If you're passive, nothing happens. Mm. This is for everything. In your personal life, in your love life, in your hobbies, and in crowdfunding mm. or equity crowdfunding. Passivity, is not good. Mm. So that's the three keys. Yeah. Um, 
How, apart from, from uh, for your crowdfunding in funded by, funded by me, do you have extra capital from uh, investors? Or? Well, we got a bit of a small uh, government grant a couple of months ago, uh -huh. uh, which is called uh, Royalty Based Input by Innovation Sprung, mm -hmm. which is a kind of a loan. They give you money and, uh, and you can pay, buy them back or give you the, uh, pay, pay back through. Um, Royalty, yeah. uh, and we just yesterday got an uh, announcement that we got some government money to spend on the equity segment mm -hmm. so we can push forwards. Mm -hmm. But we have been bootstrapping, we've done a lot of speeching engagement, mm -hmm. consulting features, and also running our web agency on the side. Mm -hmm. So we, we've been doing a lot of stuff on the side to make this happen, yeah. but we actually now getting a bit of, a, of good capital to go forwards. Yeah. We try to, to do a seed round in this fall, uh, which went okay. Mm. We get we got pe good people on board, not not any major money yet, but good advisors of mm. people mm. Uh, on. So that's that's actually. Would you say that that good advisors are more important than getting capital yes. in a seed round? Yes, yeah. always. I think uh, an angel which goes in with two hundred thousand or a major which goes in with time is a lot more valuable. Mm. I, I would I would I would rather have three passionate people on, on board with options to buy stocks rather than giving me money and then being passive. Mm -hmm. um, I think sometimes you, you, you need an angel on board to tell you that you're going on the right path or the wrong path, but sometimes you need them to also make you sell. Mm -hmm. Because even if I like 99% of my work is to take care of funded by me, I still need to be out selling. Yeah. If I can sell 10% more, then I can do a better job, and I think I think bringing angels on board is being bringing serious people mm -hmm. on board. You go from uh, three guys or girls in a garage to a proper mm -hmm. company. And I think also in Sweden we sometimes forget uh, the connection part of, of yeah. uh, the the angel function. Yeah. Um, I hear a lot from from the U.S. when you have small investment funds like uh, five hundred startups or Y Combinator yeah. who don't really invest a lot of money in their yeah. companies, but the network effect of, of people yeah. um, sort of crowding around this company, yeah. getting to know them and the mentors are sending yeah. people yeah. in is really, really important. Well, the thing is everybody wants to be part of a good story yeah. and you want to be the center of a good story. The only bad thing with getting people on board without giving money is that you can't measure uh, the effect. The, the effect. Yeah. Like for instance, as you said, oh, everybody talks about us. I don't know that. I, yeah. Sometimes I feel like, does anybody know about yeah. us? So you're afraid. But if somebody gives you money in the bank, you can count it. You mm. can see the account. You, it, it, it's, that's, I think that's a hard thing because we don't really have methods of measuring uh, networking or engagement. Mm. It's just a feel or it's mm. likes on a web page or it's traffic on Google mm. Analytics. So I think that's why we tend to come from a, a, a world where money measures yeah. dedication. Uh, of course, I think I think that it, it's hard to go out also with the cliche and say you sometimes need network more than money because mm -hmm. a young idea needs money. But the thing is that you don't need much money. Mm -hmm. Sometimes fifty, hundred thousand is a lot of money because you get wind in your sales. Yeah. Um, I also I also seen that the first sum is the hardest one to get because when you got the first one. You can go to the second person and say, this person already did the due yeah. diligence, they trust me already. So the second decision is mm -hmm. a lot easier. The tenth is even easier. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, on Kickstarter, on every crowdfunding site, you always see that the first mm -hmm. sums are coming either from the person in the product or yeah. from really close friends. So the, one, the first believers are the hardest to get. Mm -hmm. Um, what are your goals with, with Funded by Me? Are you going to stay in Scandinavia or are you going to well, widen your horizons? We, we, we've been global from day mm -hmm. one. Uh, we tried to do a fast expansion into Norway and Scandinavia and then we took a step back. We want to be this kind of in crowdfunding side, but we are also open to expanding into Europe. Mm -hmm. What we are seeing now that a lot of clones are coming, a lot of mushrooms mm -hmm. are coming. Some will die, some get niched, and some will merge. Mm -hmm. uh, my hope is that we merge with, with the bigger, bigger actors in a couple of years, mm -hmm. either with Crowdcube or Kickstarters mm -hmm. or others, when the world settles a bit. Yeah. Uh, that's my goal. Uh, but I think like, if you take it as a philosophical goal, I think we have... I've seen so much creativity go get lost mm. because a lot of people can't do their brilliant idea mm. because of practical needs and if we can do that, fix mm. that, we can come, come a long way. I'm also proud to see jobs created already, like for instance, uh, Jon Lidinger with the Flipping Burgers, he has people hired already. 
uh, he went for, he made it 182 days from idea to crowdfunding mm -hmm. to restaurant, which is super hyped. Yeah. Uh, so you know that's that's also personal fulfillment yeah. that you create uh, something good in society. Mm -hmm. Uh, how, how do you see, I mean, you come from the cultural sector and, and in Sweden we have a, a tradition, at least for the past like 30, 40 years, yeah. that if, if you're in the cultural sector, and especially sort of fine culture or high yeah. culture, you, you go to the government and yeah. you, you get a grant. Yeah. And that's well, basically how you fund your project. You, you still do that, and yeah. I think the bigger, the bigger museums and stuff like that yeah. still go, and we yeah. always go, and this is yeah. nothing. But, but, for but the you, other ones, is, 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 they... they there's it, it, a huge vacuum, it's a yeah. lot of need which is not filled mm -hmm. and the government doesn't have any mm -hmm. money and they also say you need to be entrepreneurs, everybody needs yeah. to be entrepreneurs today. We even have it in our schools mm -hmm. now that you learn from a seven-year-old who yeah. entrepreneurship. So we see that the need and the lack of grants creates a, a need for us. Mm -hmm. uh, of course I've seen that for instance art is hard to crowdfund for mm -hmm. because the individual behind this is not used to selling or packaging mm -hmm. his product. Uh, it's a bit more conceptual, but if you take arts as a whole, mm. music and film goes yeah. really well, theatre, everything mm. with when you can give something hard back, yeah. uh, works really, really yeah. well. Uh, the same is going to be in entrepreneurship. The, the more um, dubious or strange or not well-pitched projects will not go well, mm. while the others who says, I have this idea, it's exactly yeah. this and it's exactly what's going to happen, will get the crowd. Mm. So I think. You know, the, 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 we took a decision when we started funding me if we should be niched or we should be broad. Yeah. And we said, if we are broad, we can, people can learn from each other. An mm. artist can learn from an entrepreneur. Mm. An entrepreneur can learn from a musician, yeah. etc. Because we see that it, it, you have exactly the same problems. Yeah. You need money, you need networks, you need to get out, you need the feedback. Mm. This works in every field, this works in every country, uh, and, and it works for every yeah. generation. Uh, you have a family background in Eastern Europe, yeah. and Arno, your co-founder, is from Namibia. Namibia yeah. um, do you see that that you will use your backgrounds to to expand the company uh, into um, Eastern Europe or yes, uh, Africa? We, we actually had some connections with Romania, and also we are talking right now with South Africa because yeah. we have people there. But since we have social media, we're talking to people in Finland, we're mm. talking to people in uh, Croatia, mm. in Brazil. It, it doesn't really affect mm. us that we are from there. Neither he or me has um, really tight families or mm. friends there anymore because yeah. we left quite a long time yeah. ago. Uh, so I think our friends and family are lacking the crowdfunding. Yeah. It's based on interest globally. Yeah. So, uh, but of course, I think somewhere you have this. Um, feeling that you want to succeed in your mm -hmm. own, own home fields, like for instance, I, I listened to Slatan yesterday yeah. and he said that nothing is as important as succeeding in Sweden because he's, here's where he wants to be yeah. recognized as, as a success. So I think that's the same with us. Mm -hmm. If I think if Arno goes back to Namibia and says, guys, look, we built something good for you guys, mm -hmm. he's going to be extra proud yeah. probably. And I think I'm going to be probably extra proud if I do something in Jönköping or oh, yeah. in Romania because that's where my roots yeah. are. Interesting. Um, finally, we can go to 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 um, wrap up here. Uh, which is is the most important lesson that you have learned with a journey so far with funded by me? Um, transparency. Transparency. Oh, interesting. And I, I think with transparency, I mean one is like tell the story for everybody because mm. you can't lose. Like if, okay, you're gonna get copied, you're gonna get stolen, but it doesn't matter. And the third is also about your feelings. Mm. You know, an entrepreneur has. You have your up and ups and downs, and if you tell you the people who you work with, like I have a bad take today, mm -hmm. I can't come in. Uh, that's part of a freedom to recognize it, and also in the opposite, that's hey, saying I don't know how to do this. Mm -hmm. Then you know who to ask for help. Mm -hmm. And I think in a way, crowdfunding is that. It's like you say I have a need and I need help, and you, for help you say I need money, yes, but also need help mm -hmm. with this and that and that because I can't do this alone. And I think. The new world is all about transparency. Mm -hmm. I think we are in the world, of course, you know, people are getting copied to left and right and it's a tragedy, but also uh, you, you sometimes might inspire. Mm. Uh, and also being copied is, um, you have to be better, you have yeah. to do something better. Yeah. Yeah. And you're always, you know, you're chased, like you, yeah. you do, doing something in the open, you're always being chased by other who want mm. to do something. So you become faster, mm. you have to do mm. fast, like one week is a lot of time, you can't wait two weeks to launch. If you can launch today, you should launch mm. today. Um, 
And, and my, my, uh, another question I would like to ask is what big co companies can learn from you and perhaps that's also the transparency which don't, yeah. they don't really have today. Yeah. Well, it's so interesting, we were talking, I was following this discussion in a closed Facebook group about uh, social media policy mm. uh, and this person asked how should I, what should I give to, as an advice and I was like, you know, talking today about social media policy is like saying how should we use the velocipede or, you know, it's like, it's so... <laughs> how should we use the telephone? Exactly, exactly. And you know, they had phone policies yeah, yeah. once and I think in like, it's 2012, some stuff should be organic. Mm. Uh, and it will be organic. Otherwise, you 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 know you will lose your customers. Mm. You have to be with your customers. Mm. You have to understand them, and you have to um, you have to eat your own dog food. You have to understand what you're doing mm. by doing it. Mm. Any advice to other entrepreneurs apart from using well, uh, funded by uh, me? <laughs> apart of uh, of course, no. I think I think the first thing the first rule applies to everybody. If you have an idea, go for it. Yeah. Launch, 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 because. Uh, you're gonna regret it otherwise, mm -hmm. and you know worst case scenario is that you actually make it. Best best case, uh, well, sorry, worst case scenario is that it, it that you don't make it, but you try to do yeah. it. Best case scenario is that you actually go viral yeah. and you explode, mm -hmm. uh, and that that's a good thing. I think regret is the hardest thing to have. Yeah. So, and I think you know the best thing is that while doing it, you become uh, you become good at you, what yeah. you're doing. Otherwise, you 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 can't you can't grow. Yeah, it's interesting because we also often feel that entrepreneurs should be like great from the start. Yeah. Whereas we have athletes or musicians exactly. or artists who exactly. are, are doing things for years and then exactly. they have a break. So exactly. they're practicing all the time, but exactly. somehow exactly. think that entrepreneurs they should exactly. you know can't you fail know, and get it right. Exactly, good idea. And also, you know, in sports you have one winner but you have a hundred people who are still good. Yeah. I think also something that's happening which should happen is that for instance in Sweden our schools doesn't teach us how to become an entrepreneur mm. because we don't understand the. You understand? Yes, I have an idea. I can yeah. start a business and I can make money on it. But somebody, somebody might think, okay, so should I do this for the rest of my life? And you don't really know what to do as an exit or as a sale mm. or as an emerge. Mm. Why? I think if we learn that, that you actually can sell, you can have a merge. Uh, it's valuable. Yeah. Like for instance, if you check uh, uh, the Swedish site Velksamt where it says how to start a company, yeah. point five is how you close your company. Yeah. It doesn't say how to sell it. No. And it's a tragedy. Yeah. I think it should be like, okay, this is what you do when you want to do an exit. Yeah. Instead of this is how you, how you do a bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> so, five steps into bankruptcy. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Quick and easy. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, talking about uh, Sweden and, and startups, um, What's your general view about starting a company, or especially a startup, a scalable company in Sweden? Um, I think they, um, everybody talks about Swedish, Sweden being this perfect test market, mm. and it is. It's, it's a bit sad to think it's a test market because it's still a huge market, yeah. it's a lot of work to come into the market. But I think if you know that you are limited to the amount of people, mm. but that the demographic is really good, like for instance, we are really tech savvy. Yeah. We have people, we are people with money, we, are, we have a little, a little bit of a little, little brother complex mm. that we want to do stuff fast like Americans, but mm. we can't. Uh, if you know that, then you know also that at a certain point you should be ready to expand globally. Yeah. Um, but I also see that a lot of creative stuff is happening right now here, and which is really amazing. Mm. Because I think for being such a small nation, we are really, really, really comparable. Yeah. And I think it's like, how can that be? Because we are actually comparable to America, which has 360,000 billion people and, and a lot more uh, culture, a lot more engagement, and we are still comparable. It was really interesting. I was listening to Leo Laporte with this week in Google a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And he uh, talked about European startups. Yeah. And he mentioned Spotify and SoundCloud, yeah. which is the yeah. only ones he mentioned yeah. who both have Swedish founders, which yeah. is quite interesting. Yeah. Well, I think also maybe maybe it's like this that we have we have something which is uh, you know for Kemet, mm -hmm. and in for Kemet everybody could try their dream, and you can. Yeah. We don't have really class differences. Mm -hmm. Like if you're poor, you can become a millionaire. We know that. The millionaire itself, he doesn't want to flow and to have mm -hmm. Lamborghinis and like in this. So I think you, we have maybe a, an inner knowledge that yeah. we can try stuff because we have a good uh, safety system. Yeah. That might be a thing. But I think the other thing is that we are, we travel a lot. Yeah. We see cultures, we see the world, we think a lot. Um, maybe we are not as like, for instance, Russians who have to know all philosophers and all uh, old um, uh, you know, writers. 
but we 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 test stuff. Mm. We 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 adapt easily. We you know we eat sushi and mm. octopus now. We didn't do that five years ago or mm. ten years ago. Um, we are we are a nation of people who knows in their genes that if we don't grow, we stagnate yeah. because it's it's a small and cold country. Mm. So if you don't put you, in the harvest now yeah, in April, exactly. you will stop this yeah, winter. Exactly. If you don't if you don't grow, if you don't launch your startup today, <laughs> you, <laughs> you will stop in winter. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was great final words actually. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. And uh, go to fundedbyme.com to fund your project and. In the fall, you can also fund your startup there. Yeah, oh, we're actually opening already in the summer for yeah. the beta list, so but it's going to be open from the fall onwards. So can I, I um, uh, sign up for the yes. list already? Yes, we can. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So let's do that. Thank, Thank you. you.